would like to talk to you about a company named Softnet. Softnet is actually a professional cloud security service consultancy group, but recently they have been diversifying. As a cloud consulting, they have been active since 1998, so that's a lot of years of experience and know-how. But recently, since 2005, they have created the company called InPHR. This is Korea's first ever personal data healthcare system. And I want to talk to you about that specifically today. It is actually very revolutionary as personal data has never been used in this way in Korea before. Now, what is it and who is it for? There are three main people who this could be useful for, and I'm sure that you will fall into one of these categories. The first one would be personal use for people who are healthy, or people who want to make sure that they stay healthy, or people with mild symptoms who want to make sure that they don't get worse. You can use InPHR as an app or a computer software program and put in all your personal healthcare data into one place. Now, that is all of your health records from all institutions, hospitals, and medications, or, and medical devices, all in one. That has many, many benefits, as you can now access it all in one place and also conveniently have it in your pocket whenever you need it. The second group that I want to talk to you about is people with chronic diseases. Now, these people especially need to take care of themselves because as a person with chronic disease, you may know that it comes, unfortunately, with many side symptoms which can be uncomfortable up to painful. Now, managing these symptoms is very important, and a platform like this can help to reduce and maybe even prevent symptoms from happening again. So people are very, in this category, are highly advised to give a platform like this, like NP NPHR, a try. The third category of people who, are, who could use this um, program is actually medical staff. Now, what can medical staff do with this program? If you think about the workflow, workflow of a person in medicine and you think about a tool that has your patient's entire history in one place from all countries that they were sick in and all institutions and all devices that they could be wearing, their smartwatches, their pacemakers possibly, and you could have it all in one place, you could give them a really, really accurate and intuitive and better diagnosis and understand your patient's history better. So this is how medical staff could use this product. And I want to talk to you again about how personal people would be benefiting from this program specifically as let's say I'm putting all of my data in here and now what? Now I just know all of my history in one place? No, actually I get a whole analysis of everything I've put into there through an AI algorithm which then creates graphs for me and tells me what I should be doing, how I should be taking care of myself, what direction I should be taking my focus in healthcare. Now that is great information to have for anybody, whether you are sick or not sick. Especially even when you are a parent, and of course you want to take care of your child very well. There is many ways that you could apply this product to your children as well. For growing children, for example, it is very important to manage issues such as obesity, which could come up. So you could manage those symptoms or the intake of sugar of your children through a platform like that. Or other applications could be spine health. Now we all use our phones for many hours a day, we're just sitting like this, and we are creating unhealthy spines. And products like these can help us to prevent negative effects that could happen through those situations. Another great feature that this personal platform has is let's say I have all my medical information in here, I have um, all hospital information and all my medical information, but I'm feeling a little bit iffy. <laughs> Luckily, they also have self-questionnaires that I can fill out, and that is actually added to the information that even the doctor then receives. So my doctor could see how I've been feeling for the past few weeks and I've been de as I've been developing my symptoms. I think that's a really great tool, especially for people who are not sure. Do I feel sick? Do I not feel sick? I'm not feeling quite right, though. Also, 
Really interestingly, this app not only gives you tips and what to do with your health and also provides your doctor with needed information, but it also can give you news depending on the disease of interest that you're currently looking at or that you might be experiencing. Even news related data on that disease is available from the app. It can take you right through it, which I think is great to stay up to date on current information for your own health. And lastly, I want to talk to you about, before we talk about how to use the app, how this program has been useful in the fight against COVID. Now, for medical staff, this pro platform has actually received an award for its outstanding contribution. Medical staff can use this program to exchange real-time patient information. And this has in Korea been so helpful that they have received an award for that. Now let's talk about how I can use this platform. It is actually super simple. All you have to do is download the app on your phone or on your iPad, which I have right here. <laughs> so I could download the app and I could open it and I could start filling in my registration. Now it would automatically get all my information that I have on public, um, on public institutions and it could combine that into one analysis of my health. But it also could be subsidized by information that I put in about my health. Like I could say, okay, so now I have all these records, but I also know that I now weigh a different amount than is in this record. I now take these medications also. So I'm putting all of it in and combining all of that, including my smartwatch, all of that information, I'm getting an accurate representation of my current health status that I can now use and access anytime, anywhere that I want. For me personally, I don't know if you have this problem, but when I am at a hospital, which unfortunately I do go to very often, doctors often ask me what my surgery history is. And I don't know. All I know is that I've had several surgeries. So if I had this platform ever since I was little, which your child could now have, I could just open my phone and tell them exactly the dates and the times and what surgeries I've had to make sure that there will be no complications in my upcoming procedures that I am receiving now at the hospital. Now, all of these things combined, I think this is a great new tool for people to use, and especially as it's very innovative, as its first healthcare, personal healthcare system in Korea. So I hope this has convinced you to give this platform a try. Thank you very much for your attention, and goodbye.